Hi guys, I'm Pete from Precision. Now one of the biggest complaints of Windows 8 was the lack of the start menu items. Now these were items that you could access by clicking on the start button on every operating system since Windows XP. Now uh, in Microsoft's infinite wisdom, they decided to remove that option in uh, Windows 8 and replace it with a tile based system instead. Now most of you have probably heard that in Windows 10, they have put the start button back. They've replaced it. Hmm, or have they? Let's have a look. So, this is a Windows 10. Now let's have a little bit of a look what happens when you press the start button here. We'll click on that and, hmm, bum bum. Well, you do get a limited number of start menu items there. And of course, the usual tiles over here. But let's see what happens when you right click on the start button. Well, look at that, gang. There's all the old menus back. Loud and proud. How good is that, hey? So as you can see, guys, you've got your programs and features, your power options, your device managers back there. Yeehaw. Computer management, task manager, control panel, file explorer. I'll tell you what, having that control panel back in that menu is going to be fantastic. And of course, your search and run and your shutdown and sign out options. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty cool to have all those old menus back there, hey? So there you go guys, now on all our testing so far on Windows 10, it is shaping up to be a sensational operating system. It looks really good. So I hope you guys have learned something today. I'll see you next time.